The Mackay family, we've been farming here at Langy Logan for the last 100 years, or a bit longer actually. Um, I'm now the fourth generation of Mackays to farm here. We also uh, have a property we farm down at Tadioon, a bit further south. Um, my father, he uh, expanded our holdings here at Langy Logan um, and we started with a small property of only about 200 acres and now we farm around 6,000 acres between here and Tadioon, uh, which is largely sheep enterprise. We also uh, have about 40% of the farm in winter crop um, and that's where the Gason brand uh, we, we use a Gason air seeder and have done for the last seven years. Uh, we've been getting really good results with it and uh, we continue to look at Gason products in the future. It's a nine metre bar, um, which is good in this undulating country. We went for a floating hitch design on the bar with a tow behind cart so that it would follow the contours of our hills, which it does really well. Uh, we sew on the press wheel, so if there's any um, undulations in the tine depth, the, uh, the seed boot makes up for that with the press wheel. The Condinan Group came out with an article about the time we were purchasing, uh, which discussed the distribution through the seed heads, which I think Gason was a market leader at the time, um, and that was one of the reasons why we decided to go with Gason over the other brands. Uh, they're also very heavily built and uh, we thought they were a good strong machine and yeah we're glad we made that choice. Been using the machine on oats, barley, wheat and canola. Um, it was really handy with the canola seeds box because instead of you know, taking out all the wheat or whatever out of your main box you just run your uh, small seeds box and yeah no that's a good thing I reckon. We've recently had contractors here with a 40 foot uh, Gason stubble mulcher. Initially we started mulching canola stubbles uh, because we, we didn't want to have to burn all our crop residue. Uh, we figure burning's probably going to be outdated before too long and, and we like the idea of keeping the nutrients for future, um, future crops. Uh, last year we were badly frosted which uh, caused us to have a bit of a rethink of our wheat paddocks. Uh, a lot of the nutrient was trapped in the stem. Uh, it didn't end up in the seed head and we decided rather than burning those paddocks, we wanted to mulch them and, and try and keep that nutrient there for future seasons. Uh, the Gason mulcher did a really good job of smashing it all up. Uh, we then put sheep in there to help knock the, uh, the residue levels down a little bit. And uh, this year's, this season's crops are coming up well and, um, and looking quite good. There's been such dramatic um, technology shifts in agriculture over the last probably 10 or 15 years. Um, I know we never thought we'd go past the small combine as far as sowing crops in this area, high rainfall area, but now everyone's got uh, large air seeders and self-propelled sprayers. GPS has really taken farming to another level and it'll be interesting to see where we end up in another, another 10 or 20 years. Um, I know autonomous tractors and the like are probably going to become commonplace by then and um, yeah, it's exciting times for farming.